Now, before we dive in, if you find my videos useful, make sure to click that subscribe button and also make sure to click that bell icon on the side to get notified every time I upload a new video. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech Online, also for the latest updates. All right, let's dive in. Hey guys, Sock here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, we are gonna be talking about a brand new exclusive application for your Samsung Galaxy device. So first, let me quickly show you what I'm talking about, and then I'm gonna show you how to get it and how to set it up. Now the whole thing has to do with games. So I'm gonna launch a game real quick. I have a game playing in the background right over here. And as I play the game, you'll notice that there's a little floating window on the, on the screen that this new application allows you to add to any game. So when I tap on this window, it shows me the current frames per second. Uh, it shows me the CPU usage for that game. So that game is using five to 6% CPU. Also shows the GPU usage of this uh, game right here. And it shows me the temperature of the current game. As you can see, let me just put it right over here. Okay, so you can tap it to expand it or whatever. Now there's more things you can do with this. I'm gonna show you that in a second. Now the other thing I wanna talk about has to do with the other component of this tool. So let's go to my game plugins application, which is the name of this application. And for example, here's the game I was playing. If I tap on it, what I can do, first and foremost, it shows me all the stats for a given game, but I can go in here and I can customize the graphics quality, the frames per second, the, the brightness, and also all these options at the bottom. So let's dive in and find out how to get it. Now, this is gonna be an exclusive application for Samsung phones. So you're not gonna find this in the Play Store. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to your Galaxy Store, all right, tap in Galaxy Store in your Finder, and then once you're in the Galaxy Store, all right, let me just X this out, tap on Search, and go and search for game plugins, all right, game plugins. When you tap on it, it's gonna be right here. That's the icon, you wanna tap on it and install it. It's got a nice rating. And once you install that, you wanna open it up, all right? And what, what happens is you get three components, three modules for your gaming needs. So first, let's talk about the Performance Z application, the module. So basically, this is the one that shows you the frames per second, the CPU, GPU, and temperature. You can enable or disable the portions that you wanna see. Let me go back into the game real quick, okay? So again, it's gonna be this thing right here. Let me resume so you can see the frames per second, CPU, GPU, all that stuff. Now, here's a good thing. As you're playing the game, you can pull down the notifications panel, all right? And from here, you can tap on this Performance Z notification and tap on Edit. And look at what happens. You get a little window from where you can disable or enable portions of this thing. Let me go back inside, edit. Uh, you can disable portions of this window, okay? Other thing you can do is you can reduce the brightness if you want. You can also make sure it doesn't fold automatically. So it folds down, you have to tap it for it to expand to see the details. Disable this option, that thing is not gonna fold down. And I have all these options. Take a look at that. I can make it vertical or I can make it horizontal. And of course, I can pin it or I can hide it. I can hide it if I don't want it or I can pin it into place so it doesn't move around. So now that we're done, let's take a look at what, ha what it looks like. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and I'm going to play it. Take a look at that. So let's go in here. Let's play a game. And you can see that right now it is not auto folding. It's not closing down. All right. So I can see the FPS at all times. And of course, my GPU usage and the temperature of the phone. And of course, one more thing real quick. Right inside over here. If Again, if you tap on edit, you can come back to this menu. All right. That's just fantastic. This is what I recommend. I don't want you to fold it. Uh, just keep it like this so you can see all the details at all times. All right, so that's fantastic. Now let's move on to the number two option. Let's go back to game plugins. It's going to be right here once you install it. Game plugins. Go back. Now let's talk about the Game Booster Plus. Now this is pretty amazing. You tap it, all right? And again, you can pick any game. All your installed games are going to show up right here. Now what you can do is you have two options here. You can tap on this one that gives you a quick menu from here. 
If you want to save battery while playing the game, you go for battery savings. That's going to make the game look uglier, more pixelated. The frame rates are going to drop, but it's going to save you battery. If you are in a pinch, you can go for the balance option. So that's performance and battery balanced. Or you can go for the maximum frames per second. Now, when you choose this, you get the maximum frames per second, but you might actually lose quality of the game to compensate for higher frames per second. Or you can just go nuts and tap on high quality and that's gonna give you maximum everything as much as it can. So that's one way to do it. Once you choose your option, you can click apply, all right? The other thing is you can tap on this guy right here and that's gonna expand and give you an information screen. So this information screen is pretty detailed. You can actually swipe through each session of games that you played. So it shows you the FPS, the time you played it, how long you played it for, shows the temperature, uh, the battery usage, and all that stuff at the bottom here. Uh, shows you the mode you played the game in. Was it the custom mode or whatever? You can swipe over. These are my three gaming sessions that I played on this game. I can look at all the details. The other thing is I can swipe this up. And from here, again, I can do battery savers, all right? It shows you graphically what you're doing. Then you do the balance, all right? You get FPS stability. Uh, you get the battery, and you also get GPU and CPU usage, kind of limited. Now, if you go for maximum, you just get this maxed out stuff that doesn't even care about the battery, all right? Temperature maximum, uh, GPU, CPU maximum. So you get the best quality, highest FPS, but it doesn't care about temperature or the battery. Or you can go for the max FPS uh, option and then click apply when you're done or tap on custom and do it yourself, all right? Break stuff down as you please. Fantastic if you are into gaming, you click apply. Once you're done, you can tap here, which launches the game for you right from the actual booster screen. And then you can see your FPSs. Uh, I kind of disabled that, so let me just bring it up again. So performance Z, I'm gonna say show, all right? So it's gonna show up right here, all right? And then play the game and watch your meter if you like those things. I personally like to do that. Okay. Now the last option, we're gonna go again into game plugins. We are gonna go back to the main screen and that's our first module, the daily limits module that allows you to limit your gaming, all right? So you don't wanna play games all day. I'm sure you know about it secretly, but you do it anyway. Now this is gonna actually alert you if you go over your limits. So tap on this one. Let's see this game right here. I love it, I waste a lot of time on it. What I can do is I can set a daily limit, a weekly limit, and a monthly limit on this game. So let's go for the day. I'm gonna tap on this one. Every day, I only wanna play this game for 15 minutes to kill time, all right, no more. That should be enough. You can also do 30 minutes, and then you can pick the days you want this to be applied to, uh, Sunday, all, every day. So click apply. So what happens is, when you play that game for more than 15 minutes, boom, you, you get an alert. Actually, let's go inside here. Let's uh, bring this to one minute. Okay, I'm gonna bring this down to one minute, click apply. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and try to play that game and see what happens, all right? So let's uh, go here. Look at that, time limit reached. Uh, you have reached the 1945 Air Force daily limit of one minute. So you can ignore this limit for the day or you can just be a nice person and tap on OK and get out of there and do something productive instead of playing games. All right, so let's go back inside and you can do this for every single game. And like I said, not only can you have daily limits, all right, let's do something more sensible here. 15 minutes a day, all right, and then I'm gonna go inside two week and let's say I just wanna do two hours and 15 minutes per week should be absolute maximum. You can do the same thing for monthly limits, all right? Fantastic. This is, this is just great customization. These kind of tools you find in other phones that are designed for gaming, but with Samsung phones, they offer all these tools on the side. You can download, install, and customize your phone as you desire. All right, guys, so that's the game tools exclusive to Samsung devices. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. And for now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right?
All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.